Okay, this is an attempt to record this by myself. You will be using a temperature probe and you might be using a Apple device. And if you do so, that could be your own or our iPads, then you will require this little dongle, well, it's a big dongle, in order to connect the Pasco sensors to the iDevices. Okay, so. When you take out the temperature probe, you're going to make sure you have two pieces. You got the temperature sensor and you have the actual probe. And you're going to make sure it's connected properly. You're going to connect it so that the letters, PASCO and the passport, are both face up. Do not force it, because if you do, you might bend a pin. To turn the on button, to find the on button, you hit this little black button here and the red light will flash. Then you want to connect it to the iPad. So to connect it to the iPad, you're going to find the application called SparkView. And depending on the state of the iPad, the Bluetooth might be on or off. So the Bluetooth needs to be on, and it's already telling you that it's not on. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to make sure the Bluetooth is on. Okay. Then I go back to the app. In order to connect the iPad to the sensor, I click on this little Bluetooth symbol. When you're doing it, there are likely to be a lot of um, Bluetooth devices around, so you need to make sure you select the right one. Notice how it says 838-844. I don't know if you can read that on the camera here. That happens to be the one I'm using, 838-844, so that's good. So I click on it. It might ask me to update the dongle. Just cancel it update, because that will delay your experiment. It's now connected. I hit done. Okay. That is how I connect the sensor to the iPad.